Well, as promised in my last video, where we looked at a commercial landowner who had properly identified a dangerous condition on their premises and identified it and marked it for patrons, today I'm going to show you an example of a commercial landowner that did not do the right thing. So stick around inside this video, you will see what this commercial landowner did, which was improper, and what he could have done to prevent himself from liability. Hi, my name is Peter Lamont. I'm a business attorney and the host of UTL Radio. And today I'm gonna to show you a video. Um, it's sort of um, a, a continuation of the last video that I did where I showed you that it was a commercial landowner who owned a botanical type garden and um, there was a defective sidewalk. The sidewalk slab was raised and he did the right thing and he identified the, the condition and he did a reasonable amount to protect himself from liability. But now I'm gonna show you a video where another landowner, and, and believe it or not, this uh, landowner was probably a mile and a half away from where the last video was shot, so we're all in the same proximity. This landowner has a defective paver. So let's take a look at the, uh, at the video and then I'll explain. So as you see, there's this paver that's depressed, and this is something that happens, I mean pavers, heave with temperature changes. But look at how deep that um, depression is with the paver. It's clearly a tripping hazard. Now, just by way of example, I'm going to open up another video here and I'm going to show you how, I made my son do this, how if you're walking and you're not paying attention, oh. you could get your foot caught in this paver depression. You could see when he put his hand down there how deep this depression is. Now I'm going to show you him walking and he's going to fake trip. Um, he's not going to win any awards for acting. I guarantee you that. But as you watch him approach, his foot will get caught inside the sidewalk slab and he could trip and fall. So what could this commercial landowner have done well, there's a couple things. First of all, the landowner has to identify this condition. This amount of heaving in a paver is not something that happened overnight. So it's, it would be reasonable to think that this landowner knew or should have known um, about this existing condition, this dangerous condition. Now, this is a, a relatively easy fix because all you have to do is dig up this paver, level it out, fix it and you know, have your landscaper do it, you do it however you wanna do it. But at the very least, if he didn't wanna go through that trouble yet, he should have marked this. He should have done what that other landowner in the other video did, and I'll put a link to that video down below, where he spray painted the edge of the sidewalk that was elevated. At the very least, he could have done that. He could have identified it with visible paint he could have put um, a little barricade around it. So many little things that he could have done to prevent liability. And you know, it doesn't take much. It just takes somebody who's not paying attention and they put their foot in this depression, their toe gets caught, and they knock their teeth out. They you know, tear a meniscus. There's so many things that could happen. So for a little bit of effort, you could save a great deal of liability and uh, money that you might have to pay out in damages. So if you'd like more information about how to protect yourself as a commercial landowner or what your duties and obligations are, give me a call at 973-949-3770 or reach out to me via email at plamont at peterlamontesq.com. In addition, if you go to our website utlradio.com, there is a link uh, for Ask a Question and you can click on the link, you can record your question right from your computer, we'll get it, and then we will answer your question live on our Tuesday show, which is um, Business and Legal Q&A Live. Otherwise, you can also download our app, there's links on our websites, and uh, it allows you to ask a question to an attorney directly through your iPhone, iPad, and we just recently um, put our app out there on the Android market, that should be approved relatively soon. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.